We are kicking today off with a very exciting announcement. An announcement that I'm personally very excited about, and I think a lot of people will be happy with. Latios Raid Week is coming to Pokemon Go. We already knew it was coming when Latios Raid Weekend initially, and then Raid Week was announced. Uh, they did add in that Latios will eventually get its own Raid Week, and now we know when it is. Starting Monday, April 15th at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, and lasting until April 22nd at 1 p.m. Pacific Time. So one full week of Latios raids, April 15th through April 22nd. Uh, I'm excited because for most of that time, a lot of that time, I'll be in Singapore, which means I'll be able to do a ton of Latios raids, hopefully. It's going to be kind of a busy trip. There's a lot going on. But I think we'll be able to get quite a few raids in. Uh, and the reason I'm excited is because I only have three Three Latios. I caught three Latios in the entire time that it was available. If you remember, Latios and Latios were released at the same time, but on opposite sides of the world, and just because of the way that my travel worked out at that time, for those entire two months, I was almost always wherever Latios was. When they were first released, I was in Japan, Latios was there, uh, I came back, I went to Morocco, Latios was there, so I, I moved around a lot and kind of opposite sides of the world as Latios. So Latios is coming back, and I didn't say it yet, but you probably knew it was coming. Shiny Latios is going to be released. So one week of Latios raids with the possibility for a shiny. This is going to work just like Latios raid week where it's joining raid battles. It's not replacing Giratina, so you'll have both Latios and Giratina raids hatching, and hopefully uh, a higher number of legendary raids because the way that I experienced Latias Raid Week was that there were a ton of legendary eggs hatching all the time. Uh, so hopefully we'll get a boost in legendary egg, legendary raid rates during this week. Again, April 15th through April 22nd, 1 p.m. Pacific time. Get ready. And now stay tuned because the rest of this video is a recap of the weekend, which includes a preview of some new merch and a beautiful hike. I'm starting off the day headed into LA. I'm going to Crowdmate, the office of the company who produces my merch, because we're working on something I'm very excited about, a new sort of project that hopefully I'll get to share a little bit of with you today as a little teaser, a little preview. Um, but if not, stay tuned, it's gonna be fun. turning out to be one of those weekend videos where I just piece together clips from throughout the weekend. Today's clip is opening my box. Let's see. I don't want... I, I don't... Mm. Lugia or Ho-Oh. We are on month four of having Lugia and Ho-Oh in these research breakthroughs, and I still have not gotten either one, so I would be happy with either of those. 2,000 dust, 20 Pokeballs, 3,000 XP, and a mysterious Pokemon. Nice! I did it. If I'm being completely honest, I would have rather had Lugia because it's easier to get down to Great League. Ho-Oh, you kind of have to trade with someone that you're not friends with at all. And there's like a 4% chance of its IVs going low enough with like a best friend or an ultra friend. I'm not sure what the exact statistics are, but it's very difficult to get Ho-Oh under 1500 for Great League. And Lugia is probably just better suited for Great League. But hey, I'm happy to start the day 
Start my Saturday with a hoe. -oh. oh yeah, one more thing. Get my stamp for the day by shiny checking a scyther. Okay, bye. See you tomorrow, probably. It's Sunday, and today I feel like going hiking. So the goal is to do exactly that. The trail starts here where the Pokestops are and heads out. Kind of a short hike that we're doing here because really in Southern California, there's not a lot of open space. But here in Southern Orange County, Aliso Viejo, Laguna Niguel, there's at least this much space. So we're gonna walk through it. I purposely chose a trail that's marked as a footpath in OpenStreetMap. So that means we should have Pokemon spawning all along the trail. And on top of that, the bug out event increases incense effectiveness so we should be able to get a good number of incense spawns as we're walking as well so shiny sight there or even caterpie honestly pineco my mom and my cousin both caught shiny pineco so the family's got the luck let's see if i can find some of that off to a great start. Picked up, catch 10 bug types, so that's at least one site that we're gonna find today. There's a shuckle raid down at the end, which is very difficult, but bug types here. Lots of stuff spawning on the trail. So why am I sitting here? Keep walking. I had a scyther on the incense, there it is. Scyther check. Picked up another, catch 10 bugs, so check's coming up, and also, Sableye, and also, also, lots of Ponyta around here. Snake, it's about as close as I'm getting to this snake. With a little bit of help, managed the Shuckle Raid, so that's one more bug type, plus the amount of flies that are buzzing around because of this trash can here. That's at least 10 more bug types. So, quick Shuckle catch here, excellent throw. Also, there's a snake in the bushes. It's got a little rattle on it. So, if you're coming up here, watch out. 13 bug types. 8 bug types. Here's a spinnerack. That's another bug type. Oh my god. I wish I could just catch these flies and they would count towards my scyther quest. 14 bug types. 9 bug types. I just need one more. Trail picks up down there. I'm gonna go find one more bug type. And then it's double scyther shiny check did i mention you are in orange county it really looks like it right here This is it, the end point, Aliso Peak, which is actually lower than where we started, back up there. But two Scythers, a Caterpie, is that on Incense? Better check that first. Two Scythers, and then even an Executor Raid, which maybe if I got a shiny Scyther, we could use against the Executor. Okay, Scyther number two. And now we've got Scyther three and four, and a Caterpie. Caterpie first, maybe. Oh, wow, another Scyther. Make that Scyther number three. Has anyone got the shiny? Anyone? Two Scyther checks, please. Out here, couldn't think of a nicer place. I could think of some nicer places, but this is a pretty nice place to find a shiny Scyther. One more, please. All right, I guess it's time to enjoy the view. Not gonna lie, it's pretty steep on the way back up. Whew. All right. One last sweaty, shiny scyther check. My box is full. Oh, 
You think these flies are attracted to my sweat? Scyther, please. Yeah. Okay, I lied. A couple more checks. Let's spin the Pokestop first. Please spin 10. Okay. Scyther. Yeah. Nice view, though. And Caterpie. Maybe I need to go somewhere orange or yellow. With all this greenery around. Uh, it doesn't make sense for Pokemon to be shiny because then it wouldn't camouflage well with the environment. You know, from an evolutionary biology standpoint. Yeah. I'm gonna go somewhere. Well, I guess Scyther's still green. Dang it! How about you? Didn't think so. I need a smoothie.